Welcome to this video. In this video we'll be going over how to make a wheel using the loft function. This is a little more advanced. If you don't know how to do a loft, you can visit this link here and it will tell you. Uh, there's a simpler version on how to make a wheel that I'll be posting soon. Uh, for now, well, let's get started. I'm going to open up a part. And I'll choose the, uh, the top plane. From here, I'm going to make the, uh, the center island first, or the nave. I'll make the nave uh, seven and a half inch diameter. Then I'll add in my lug nut holes. I haven't actually gone out and measured them. I'll estimate three quarters of an inch. I'm more focused on a concept to make wheels more than the tolerancing. So I'm going to make these all equal. Make these equal. And finally, vertical. The offset is 114.3, which works out to exactly four, four and a half inches. And going diagonally from one side to another, I'll select the midpoint and the origin. And when I make them coincident, it will define everything. I'm good to extrude this, and I will do so to half an inch. Notice I have the front plane sitting on the back of, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the top plane sitting right on the back. That's going to be the mounting side, and this will be the side where the lug nuts go in. So when I go to make my offset, I'll know that the top plane is uh, the mounting point to make my offsets. At this point, I'm going to uh, make the outer end of the wheel and then loft them together with the spokes. So on my right plane, I'll sketch the, uh, the outer rim. And I believe that everyone at this level can make an adequate sketch, so I will uh, go ahead and fast forward through this in the interest of time. Okay, so I have a fully defined sketch here, and what I've done is I've made the, the center of the outer rim at the same level as the mounting plate because the wheel has a zero offset. It also uh, is 7.25 inches wide to account for the lips and uh, nine and a half inches um, in radius, which is about a 17 inch wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and revolve this and do that. I'm going to add uh, on my sketch a center line. And because I like everything fully defined, I'll make it one inch. So we are fully defined now. And I'm going to features, revolve boss base. And I'm going to say my axis is the center line across the origin. And it will make a very simple wheel. Note that um, we are very simple here. Most wheels are more complex. Again, you can change your drawing or your sketch to be a little bit more complex if you would like. This is extremely simple. I've made more complex wheels than, than this, but this is a good starting point. Now, I'm going to put a, a sketch here and a sketch here, and I'm going to loft out a spoke. So I'll see you there. Okay, here's a simple sketch. Um, you could make a concentric three-point arc right here if you wanted to fill in that edge. I didn't. Um, I think it uh, lost with slightly better geometry if I leave that flat. And the other thing to note is um, I put it on the bottom face where it'll mount. That way when it will loft, it will merge the result and, and bind with this face coming out and be much stronger. I'm gonna go ahead and create a plane on this side. Um, 
in case you don't know, we'll run through that. Exit sketch, features, reference geometry, create a plane, and I want it to be that was my top plane. my right plane. And I'll move this right plane back. So that it will loft nicely into this surface. So now I can sketch where my wheel will meet right in this area and it will go right in. Okay, so here's a sketch where the, uh, the wheel will loft two into the rim. Notice that we will likely be falling short. Um, I think I'm going to exit the sketch and take a section view to see what we can do to fix that. If I move this uh, plane back about a tenth of an inch, we'll be lofting inside of that rim. Perfect. If this uh, method is not desirable, you can also loft the spoke out and then extrude this around the spoke to make sure that you get it without any trial and error. You can do that as well. Um, it's all personal preference. Now I'm going to hide this plane and I will <coughs> add a three-point arc to complete our extrusion or loft. There we have a lofted spoke, and of course, uh, wheels are so aesthetic that we often have to change uh, their appearance as we go to make sure that they look the way that we want them to, but you can see a completely merged result. You have a divot in the back that will save weight, and now we can do a circular sketch pattern to uh, make a five spoke or a six spoke or whatever we like. Again, if we want a five spoke, then I'll go 360 divided by five. Since uh, we have our holes being interfered with, let's try six spoke. And we'll have to remember to 360 divided by six. Yeah, that's much better. Now it would be a nice idea to add some fillets. Finally, I'll, end, I'll uh, add in a center hole. And 
and adding another fillet. If we would like, um, you can say, oh, I would like to have these uh, spokes going a little bit further. And I can do that simply by editing some of the sketches that I made my loft. I can say two inches. And I can rebuild the part and see if they'll interfere with these holes. It does a little bit, so we can rebore those holes if we would like. So this is what it looks like now. I think this is an adequate wheel and it's very common to have a few cuts in the spokes to add to uh, make lug nuts fit. One thing is you may want to put a draft on this hole so that it will be conical and allow uh, lug nuts to actually fit in. Uh, most wheels are conical and I did not include that in this drawing. But I think this is an adequate wheel to, uh, to get started and we can look into making this uh, rim section more complex as well. In fact, I think I might uh, change the geometry to accommodate uh, receiving this spoke a little bit better. Hold on while I sketch that. Okay, so here's a sketch of the new wheel where the spoke will loft into a curvature. Um, I should increase the appearance and make things a little bit more complex the way that a real wheel would be. So let's go ahead and see if we can simulate that. Uh, we'll rebuild the document. Give us an error because we changed geometry. Reorient my planes. And there you have it. There's a wheel that uh, you may need to reorient your planes to make sure your loft doesn't go through the back. And now we have a nice curvature in the front that connects in with our wheel. And we can modify things like adding fillets around this face. And uh, we've got a wheel that we can start working with. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. That's the best way to help me back. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time.